We've all seen the effects of wildfires the last several years. The season has gotten longer. It starts earlier, it ends later. And even if we haven't had the major fires here in Idaho lately, we've sure had to experience the smoke funneling into Idaho from other states. And our air quality has been so bad for longer stretches of time. Just as we are about to embark on this year's fire season, there's a new exhibit at the Idaho State Museum that takes you inside the intensity of some of the major western wildfires over the last couple of decades. Thanks to the camera work of photographer Kari Greer. Kari grew up in Coeur d'Alene and went to school to be a photographer, but she worked her college summers as a wildland firefighter. Kari started on a crew in 1994, and during those first few seasons, she would sneak some pictures, some, some time to snap a few pictures, because the images that she was seeing kept catching her photographer's eye. And by 1998, she'd made the seamless transition to full-time fire photographer. Kari's been as far as Florida, Georgia, South Dakota, Alaska, all of the western and southwestern states, she says. She put together 64 of her favorite pictures for this exhibit. Photojournalist Kevin Esslinger brings us a preview of Facing the Inferno, the wildfire photography of Kari Greer. If you've never been on a fire, you've never been right up close to a fire, don't you find yourself being a little curious? What's that like? And so I just have this drive to tell the story, just to show it. And fire, I think it's uh, so visceral, and I think it's so fundamental. It's a natural disaster that you can get close to, and it's amazing to see it. It's a privilege to be able to go get close. You can't see something like that and say, I don't need to take a picture of that. But I do take everything I can take. And what I've been surprised by is maybe something that I thought was a little mundane or not that cool turns out to be one of my favorite photographs. They're reflected in the pond here, but they must be on the bank right here. And the firelight is reflecting their silhouette on the pond. I love photographing the people. And I like to get to the point on the line where they forget I'm there and I'm just doing my thing, fly on the wall, capturing what's going on and showing what's taking place and, and telling that story. Having a line is, is how hot shots hike and the boots and the dust coming up from the boots and the exertion on their faces. I think she's breathing hard. She's carrying a pretty heavy load with uh, her line gear and a drip torch and her tool. And they're huffing. And I just think as a species, humans need to know. They, they want to know the unknown. And so if you can provide a window into that, it's just telling the story of what some of our fellow humans are doing out there that is somewhat unknown. Fire is dangerous. It's also a little bit unpredictable. Those unprecedented and kind of chaotic, unpredictable things, those I think make firefighters a bit nervous. This fire right here, those flame lengths are probably 350 feet tall. If you look at the height of the trees, we were standing probably 100 yards from the edge of that. And when it took off and began to run, it's called running crown fire, our Nomex blew back. It was like a blast wave in front. And we dropped down and had to lay on the ground and I took pictures like this. It was crazy. It's amazing how fast it can just snap to life. That's a CL-415 Super Scooper. And they try to paint a wide area. So I tried to get in the right spot off the edge of the ridge, but they decided to widen it a little bit. It's trying to show you that fire is something that we coexist with, is going to affect all of us at some level, and that it can be embraced as a phenomena that is part of us. Some amazing pictures there. You can see Kari's work along with excerpts from the author and essayist Stephen Pine, who's written nearly two dozen books about wildfire. You can see all of that at the Idaho State Museum. Facing the Inferno is now open and runs through August 7th.